of New York City's public school system making his first extended comments since his home was raided by the FBI last week. Yeah, the school chancellor, uh, David Banks, says that he is not a target of a federal investigation and is not sure what the investigation is all about. PIX 11's Henry Rahalsoff has been following all of this. And Henry, this is just another, and we're saying just another, but it's another top aide to the mayor who is answering a lot of questions. Yeah, it's becoming a very serious political problem yeah. for Mayor Adams. But, but on to Chancellor Banks. He says the feds still have his cell phones after grabbing both his work and personal phone during that raid last week, which, by the way, he doesn't call it a raid. He insists he's done nothing illegal nor unethical. But with all these federal investigations, they are at a minimum creating very serious political problems for the mayor with another candidate coming after his job just today. Early in the morning, I had a number of uh, FBI uh, agents who came to my home um, and wanted my personal cell phone as well as my work phone, my DOE phone. Um, outside of that, I don't know a lot. They were not at my house uh, for very long. Uh, I would not describe what happened there as a raid. Schools Chancellor David Banks shares his home in Harlem with partner First Deputy Mayor Sheena Wright, his brother's Deputy Mayor for Public Safety Philip Banks, and Terrence Banks, who runs a consulting firm, were also paid visits by the FBI. Chancellor Banks says he's hired an attorney who confirmed with the feds he personally is not a target of this probe. I have always lived my life with integrity um, every day of my life, and anybody who knows me knows that. Still, the school's chancellor is another of Mayor Eric Adams' high-ranking officials under the microscope. Thursday, the mayor had to replace his police commissioner, Edward Caban, who resigned because he and other top leaders at the NYPD are facing a federal investigation involving the handling of nightclubs. And as all this plays itself out, political opponents of the mayor are sensing opportunity. Friday, State Senator Jessica Ramos said she would challenge Adams for the Democratic nomination for mayor in the primary next June. I didn't know that there would be so much news this week, but it is the perfect time to start talking about the mismanagement at City Hall that we've seen. Senator Ramos would become the first woman and first Latina mayor in the history of the city if she emerges from what is now a very crowded field of candidates. Let's take a quick look here. Some of the Democrats who've declared or who are formally exploring a run for mayor next year. There it is. So in addition to Ramos and Adams, you have current comptroller Brad Lander. You have former comptroller Scott Stringer and state senator Zellner Myrie of Brooklyn. More still looking at possibly declaring pretty soon. Yeah, it's so unusual to have an incumbent Democrat, for that matter, in the city facing this so sort of challenge. primary challenge. And, and as we know, in the city, the Democratic primary yeah. almost certainly determines the winner, but of course there is still that general election. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Henry. Thank you.